from this day kalpana here in this video we are going to solve this differential equation so let's get started problem solve y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx plus sin x plus x cos y plus x into dy equals to zero solution given differential equation y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx plus sin x plus x cos y plus x into dy equals to 0. Consider as equation 1. Okay? Fine. So this equation is of m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form, which is of m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form where m equals to by comparing these two we will get m equals to y cos x plus sin y plus y and n equals to sin x plus x cos y plus x. Okay. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Okay. So here we are having m and n by finding partial fractions of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. We can know whether the given equation is an exact or not. So this is your m. The terms containing differential x is your m and the terms containing differential dy is your n, right? Fine. Now, we have m equals to y cos x plus sin y plus y. Now, let's find partial derivative of m with respect to y. This is equals to dou y dou y of y cos x plus sin y plus y. Right. Since you are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we will treat x as constant and also the function containing x constant that is cos y, x is a constant here. Okay. So, this is equal to partial derivative of first term with respect to y plus partial derivative of second term with respect to y plus partial derivative of third term with respect to y this is equal to constant cos x into partial derivative of y with respect to y plus partial derivative of sin y with respect to y is cos y plus partial derivative of y partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 this is equal to cos x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus cos y plus 1 which is equal to cos x plus cos y plus 1. So now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Is it, and we have n equals to sin x plus x cos y plus x. Partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to dou y dou x of for n equals to sin x plus x cos y plus x this is equal to since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so we will treat y as constant and also the function containing y is also a constant okay so this equals to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term with respect to x with respect to x plus partial derivative of third term with respect to x. This equals to partial derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x plus constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x plus partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. 
is equal to cos x plus cos y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus 1 is equal to cos x plus cos y plus 1. So here partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Okay. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to cos x plus cos y plus 1 which is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x. Since dou m by dou y equals dou n by dou x, from this we can say that the given differential equation is an exact. Therefore, equation 1 is an exact equation. Since the given differential equation is exact, so we can find the general solution of the given exact differential equation, right? We know that the general solution of an exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant. Okay. So, consider the first integral, integral over x, m into dx. Here, we will be integrating m with respect to x, treating y as constant. Okay. So, this equals to integral of m for m equals to y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx, right? So, this equals to, your y is treated as constant, right? So, y is sin y and this y will be constants, okay? This equals to integral y cos x into dx plus integral sin y dx plus integral y dx. So, let's write the constants outside the integral. This is equals to constant y, sin y and y. y into integral cos x dx plus constant sin y integral dx plus y integral dx. So, this equals to y into integral cos x dx is sin x plus sin y into integral dx is x plus y into integral dx is x. This equals to y sin x plus x sin y plus x y. Okay. So, integral over x and into dx is equals to y sin x plus x sin y plus x y. Right. Now, we can find the second integral. Let's consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. You are having n equals to sin x plus x cos y plus x. So, there is no such term which is free from x, right? So, if this contains x, sin x is a function containing x. And here also you are having x. You can't take this. And third term also containing x. So, terms of n free from x is 0 into dy equals to 0. Because the general solution of 1 is, therefore, the general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral 
is y sin x plus x sin y plus x y plus result obtained from the second integral is 0 equals to constant. Then y sin x plus x sin y plus x y equals to c is the required general solution. Okay. So from the last two terms you can take x common. You are having x in the last two terms right. So let's take x common then you will get y sin x plus sin y plus y into x equals to c. Either this or this. Okay. You can write in any of these two forms. It's up to you. Fine. So we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.